morning, ayan, Sasserain here. And for today's video, magbibigay po ako ng uh, reaction, a review natin. At i-reveal ko din ang aking top 15, finally, for the Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Uh, so, you know, kakatapos lang po ng preliminaries kagabi. And, um, lahat tayo may sari-sariling bet, sari-sariling um, mga gusto sa batch ng uh, Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Ang iba ay may umangat, ang iba na akala natin front runners ay hindi ganun umangat. Pero, ngayon nga, kilatisin natin ang mga kandidata sa kanilang performance kagabi sa preliminary competition. Without further ado, let's do the review and let's reveal my top 15. Ayan guys, so first up, we have my favorite, my personal favorite since the beginning, Miss Bohol. So Miss Bohol did a wonderful performance last night. So in the swimsuit competition, she did pretty well. Um, but I don't like the way she walk, you know, I don't like the way she walk. She needs to really uh, give emphasize in, in catwalk. So she needs more catwalk training. And in terms of gown, um, the way she, you know, turn is not good for me. Pero maganda naman ang pr um, presence niya sa stage and she did pretty well on stage. So I, I know pretty well that she will advance. So, next I have on my list is Quezon City. So, Quezon City, as though you know, is very well spoken. Uh, according, um, syempre, ibahiwalay natin yung ano niya, yung um, interview niya sa performance niya kagabi. Sa, pre sa preliminary performance ni Quezon City, Michelle Gumabaw, uh, sa swimsuit niya, hindi rin siya maganda ang maglakad. I, I, I know that she needs more training. She needs more catwalk training. Um, you posing, you know, the way she turn and stuff. I need, you know, I need more training, Michelle. And I, I need to see more of you in when you walk. So yun lang. But overall performance, um, with the gown. Uh, I don't like the gown as well. <laughs> masyadong parang ano, masyadong parang maluwag talaga. Pero uh, she carried pretty well naman. So, talagang, uh, yun. Yun yung aking, uh, ano natin, kay Michelle Gumabaw. And next, we have Katanduanes. So, Katanduanes actually did a really wonderful job last night. Um, she did pretty well um, in swimsuit and in evening gown. Talaga namang um, full pack ang performance ni Miss Katanduanes. And next, we have Tagig. Si Miss Tagig, Sandra Lemonon. Um, I mean, kunting polish na lang sa kanyang uh, catwalk, uh, sa kanyang swimsuit. Okay naman yung performance niya. Um, masyado lang sobrang ano, yung, ano, yung smile niya. So, yung pag pagiging bubbly ng personality niya, talagang ano, nagsashine pa rin sa performance niya last night. And uh, in terms of gown, she's wearing yellow gown. Um, I think it's suited in her personality. Um, she did pretty well. So, I like her performance. Um, next, we have Cavite. Cavite. Oh my god. This girl is on fire. I love her gown. Personally, I love the gown. Um, I love the way she carried the gown. And in terms of the swimsuit, uh, she is so sexy. She is on fire. I love it. So sexy. Next, we have Paranyake. Oh my god. This girl... Ah, uh, I can't say anything, but she's a total package. Miss Paranyake is on fire. Ang ganda ng kanyang swimsuit performance. Ang ganda din ng kanyang long gown performance. All in all, she did a very, very nice, nice performance last night in a preliminary. Talaga namang lahat, we're rooting for Paranyake. I, I, you know, I can't wait to see her in top 5. Next, we have La Union. La Union is good in catwalk. Isa yan sa napansin ko. Ang ganda ng ano niya, the way she carry herself on stage. Ang galing. Sobra. Um, and next, uh, yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang tawag dito, uh, gown. Um, her gown is okay. Uh, I like it as well, as you can see. Ayan. And um, next, let's move on to 
Aklan. Ayan, si Aklan. Ang ganda ng beauty ni Miss Aklan. I really like her, um, you know, stage presence as well. Um, she she need more training still in catwalk. So since this is a final, she need more, you know, she need more energy um, sa finals night. Uh, kailangan natin makita na mag-shine siya. And her gown, um, her gown is good. I like her, uh, her gown. But, you know, she needs to carry it more. Um, and, you know, she needs to stand by it. Um, maganda siya. Maganda si Miss Aklan. And I like her performance as well. Need more improvement, definitely. Next, we have Albay. Wow, what a beautiful face, Albay. And she carried the gown pretty well. She romped nice as well in, in, in the swimsuit competition but still we need to be polished so, kailangan magpakita pa siya ng sobrang um, you know uh, smooth performance pagdating sa final night and uh, I, I, I you know hindi malayo na mapasok din siya sa next round or top 5 maybe I will I will be surprised right. next we have Cebu City Ang ganda ni Cebu City. I like her face. Very radiant. Ang ganda ng performance niya sa swimsuit and sa evening gown. This performance of Miss Cebu City is something that we will watch on for the coronation night. And I can't wait to see her to move in the next round of the competition if she will remain or she will continue this journey of her performance, the high level, the uh, good level of energy, the way she walk, the, you know, the connection in the uh, this the the challenges since there is no live audience in this year's um, competition um i guess maganda maganda pa rin yung performance niya it doesn't affect um what is going on sa kanya performance but she is having fun on the stage i like her performance next we have cebu province oh my god cebu province you're so beautiful i like your color skin the way i mean you are too much right now. I know you've been, I mean, you've been in the competition in the past couple of years. You've been in Bini Bini and um, it's already polished. The way you walk, the way you, you carry yourself on stage is pretty cool. I like the gown. I like the way she walk on stage. But more definitely, when in the finals, kailangan more energy pa. All right? And then we, I have Davao City. Oh. Who don't like Tao City? <laughs> she killed it. She killed it. Definitely, Eliza killed it last night in the preliminaries. I love the gown. It's so simple. Yeah, but very elegant. She carried pretty well. I love the way she walked in swimsuit and evening gown. It's perfect. All right. Next, we have Ilo Ilo. Ah, oh, what an angel face. I love her face. I love the hair. I love the swimsuit. Oh, I love the, you know, the cape in her um, long, gown, long gown. And it's something that I am going to look forward to in the coronation night if she will change the long gown or else. Um, it's good as well. So I like her performance. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. I like the energy. Next, we have Romblon. Oh my god. Romblon is so hot. You see in the swimsuit competition how she carries swimsuit. Uh, but most definitely, she needs more, more, more polish. She needs to polish her walk as well. But she has a pretty face. And I know that she can, you know, be, be more, you know, she can show more, more than what she showed last night in the preliminary. And their long gown, um, it's good as well. Um, I like her gown, how, how she carry it. Um, overall performance is good. So next, uh, last on my top 15 is Biliran. Yes, Biliran is pretty awesome. I like her face. But um, in the long gown competition, uh, she need, you know, as so, you know, we want to see something unique because she is already look beautiful she is beautiful and she needs more energy on stage um para talagang mapansin natin yung ano niya naaangat siya among the candidates so uh in in long gown competition i don't like the bondi hair kailangan okay lang na maglugay sana 
to uh, no, to see much of her personality on stage pero um okay naman yung performance niya but i wanted to see more i wanted to see more so those are my top 15 guys um on my top five next on my video i will do my top five list so uh, so far those are my top 15 so don't forget to hit your comment if uh, who among the candidates you would like to place in the top 15 in this Sunday's coronation night. So, um, yes, we hope that every one of them are all deserving to win, but only one will wear the crown. So, we are so much excited for who will be the next Miss Universe Philippines 2020, who will carry on the legacy and the winning streak of the Philippines in the international stage. So, ayun na nga, um, I already revealed my top 15, so um, I hope you like it. If you like it, just comment, share, and don't forget sa mga hindi pa nakaka-subscribe siya na mag-subscribe na i-hit niyo ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga latest videos. Thank you guys! Sassy Rain here! Bye!